Hey guys, what up? It's your boy Sumayuki. And earlier this week, I asked you guys to ask me a couple questions for a Q and A that I was doing. So let's just say we got a lot of questions, and uh, I'm gonna answer them because I want to interact with my fans, and I love you guys. Okay, first question: Which phone do you have? Uh, right now, I'm using a One Plus Six. And funny story: How I actually got this phone is I started selling Sumayuki T-shirts back in 11th grade, and I sold enough T-shirts to be able to buy this phone. and then one week after buying this phone i broke the screen so yeah and then for one year i had to go back to my old phone and then until i got this finally repaired how old are you um i'm somewhere between like 50 or 60 who's your favorite youtuber my favorite youtuber is definitely simon savita i watch every single one of his videos because he gives the most amazing production tips Does your parents support you to make music and are you doing a fan meetup in Delhi? Yes, my parents support me a lot in making music luckily and I don't think I can have any fan meetups especially in Delhi because of the current situation as you know can't form in, form in groups. How do you keep yourself motivated and not let others opinions affect you? Uh I just go by one thing if they are not personal I don't take it personally. So If they're hating on me and anything like that, I can't do anything about that. That's their problem. So you know, I just enjoy the amount of love that I'm getting from all of you guys, fans. If you could ever change anything about the industry, what would it be? Probably the politics of the industry because this industry is unfortunately very, very corrupt and one-sided. And you really have to grind and you really have to have the contacts. It's more about having contacts than having talent, at least here in Goa. But I'm not sure. But that's one thing I would definitely change about the industry. Ever battle rap? Uh, mm, not. like a professional battle rap but like cuz it's really hard to freestyle you guys don't even know it's really hard to think off the dome i don't know how half of these rappers freestyle but if i if you give me time to write something oh i'll finish the person but i never face to face battle rap no nah, nah, that's not my thing some of my favorite songs right now i'm just listening to oliver tree's album it is so freaking good i can't cannot stress on it enough but yeah you should go check out ugly is beautiful by oliver tree amazing work where do you live in my house of course what's your original name i said this on instagram my original name is gamsham paklesh wali bagar jack joshi jogi kumar lover the second okay Please stop asking me what my name is. Changing your hair color every five seconds doesn't get you attention. By the way, nice lyric generator kid, keep the plagiarism up. <laughs> That's so cute. Where do you live in Goa, and what's your what's your real name? My name is Gumsham Pakleshwali Bagar Jack Joshi Jogi Kumar Lover the second. I swear if I get this question again how much do you earn that's a very personal question I'm not going to answer that what inspired you to do a youtube video i just felt like i had to interact with you guys a little bit you know answer your questions maybe you guys hear your questions in the video you probably get excited and stuff like that but yeah i just wanted to interact with the fans what's your dream car forever for like the longest time my dream car is a nissan gtr i have i don't know all the specifications about the cars like some of these some of my friends are go like oh dude this new car got the a5 g8 engine 5 yeah I don't know any any of that stuff but my dream car is definitely Nissan GTR cuz I had it as a Hot Wheels as a kid and I've always loved it. How much percentage should you get it SSC? I'm not going to answer that because one thing I know is that marks don't define you even if you get low grades and stuff like that marks don't define you and I hope you guys know that as well. Like for example, you can't ask a goldfish to climb a tree. You guys are each best at different things. So don't let marks define you kids. Why do you keep experimenting with your hair? You guys think I'm experimenting with my hair. I'm not ex- I'm not really experimenting with it. I don't do this this whole thing for myself. I do it because it helps me in my branding and helps me to create a specific identity as a rapper in this industry that I'm in. It helps me to set me aside and apart in the physical sa- appearance side of branding of things of, okay? I'm not just doing this for fun. <laughs> In an old interview you once said you didn't like the music you released before. If true, why and which track would you say is one you feel you shouldn't have dropped? I don't think I shouldn't have dropped any like I shouldn't have not dropped any specific track. Like for example, White Tea, it's a really old song. Okay, like it's about 1 year now. But the thing is as an artist you start disliking the 
person you were at that point of time to the person you are now because i've grown so much in a year you get it so you start disliking that basically the song's amazing but you just start disliking it because you're hearing the voice of a one year old you who's not the same person that you are right now you become so much wiser and smarter now you know hey when you going to collab with lil popot or dr pramod sawant bro you know those collabs are coming soon okay you know those collabs you got to stay tuned my boy pramod sawant is going to hit me up in my dms one of these days asking for a collab you already know what's going to happen we got cook up some fire some fire you know did you drop out from school no but if i blow up i'm definitely going to drop out from school so stream my music so that i can drop out of school thank you guys kids don't drop out of school are you going to do a concert soon also are you going to do a feature with someone new uh my features i can't really speak about that but once this whole corona virus thing is over and we are allowed to do concerts again for sure your boy is coming for a concert you know how it is i'm going to have the whole crowd lit and i expect you guys to be there as well bro i'm a big fan and i'm zadar rapper's friend i've been sharing your music with all my friends on snapchat my question is where do you find such good inspiration to make good music so where i find inspiration is first of all i find inspiration in myself i'm a very inspiring person okay then um second of all xxx intasio is a huge inspiration to me if you guys are real fans you know how how much xxx intasio has inspired me oliver tree i love oliver tree his music has really inspired me uh ego what is a big inspiration to me as well just his concept you know like he's a kid in the us and an indian kid in the us and i feel like you know i can relate to something some something of how he feels and everything like that but yeah those are my inspirations i have more but i can't really think about it on the spot but yeah those are my inspirations what's your next big move i can't let you know my next big move if i let you know i'm going to have to kill you so you really want to know my next big move no i didn't think so if you ever won the lottery what would you do with it might be an irrelevant question that's fine If I ever won the lottery, I would probably give most of it to charity and then invest the rest of the lottery money in music equipment. Will you bring out an only Hindi music video? One of the best works, and I suggest you should work on the videos and the lip syncs. I should work on my videos and my lip syncs, but content is ten on ten. How is it ten on ten if if I should work on? And also, no, I'm not never gonna make a Hindi music video. primarily because i don't know how to speak any language other than english so yeah hindi music video is not coming anytime soon for india type shows i had like a production team of like five or six of my friends who helped me actually get like the hindi words and shit like my friends were like hey, bro you should say swami oh you should say you should say you should wear kurt bro and i was like yeah bro this got be sick bro you know renan and all all of them they helped me make the music video so shout out my production team okay now moving to the questions on instagram what's your future plan bro to be the best that's my future plan what is the most embarrassing moment of your in your life i never really had a lot of embarrassing moments there were a few times where i called the teacher mama you know that was pretty embarrassing but otherwise i can't really can't really remember probably getting rejected by girls would be another embarrassing moment because i was a little fat little chubby boy in when i was younger but otherwise i can't really think of the most embarrassing moment but yeah that's those are pretty embarrassing do you play guitar or any other instruments i play guitar i play piano and i play the ukulele do you get any hate what do you do about it yes i do get i get lots of hate what do i do about it i do nothing cuz i don't care what's your real gumsham what's that gumsham paklesh wali bagar jack joshi jogi kumar lover the second stop asking me what my real name is i told you just call me yoki from now on what sports do you used to play i used to play football a lot in school but now i don't play football a lot when is kid mange's second boxing match isn't that a question you should probably ask kid mange i'm not really sure when his boxing match is how do you deal with all, all the haters i just don't bro like haters are the funniest thing that's ever happened in the youtube comments it's so cool like somebody saying me my music is shit even though there are another 100 comments which telling me that the music is awesome so i don't really care care what they say like it's just cute you know how they envy me so much it's just cute so shout out to all my haters out there i love you guys do you speak konkani naka what's your real name and where do you live you really want me to repeat that really want me to repeat my real name just no 
You don't want me to repeat my real name. I'm really happy right now because I got my my child. Ah, beautiful. Does your mom rap? No, my mom does not rap like how I do. She doesn't say bad word and all, and make all the Indian aunties mad. To answer your question, my mom doesn't rap. Will you have a fan base meet up after everything is okay? By the way, love you. I love you too. Uh, yes, definitely. Once this whole coronavirus situation settles down, I will definitely have a fan meet up. When are you dropping Falling Down? Uh, Falling Down is a part of a huge collective of new music that I've created, which unfortunately has been pushed back because of the. you know the pandemic and stuff like that it's not a good time to release music so probably next year to answer your question when will you collab with small artists like me okay so the thing about collabing with small artists is i own i really want to make dope music at the end of the day so if you are a small artist you definitely have to grow your fan base right now that's the main thing you have to be focusing on not collabs okay So grow your fan base, and if you do, I will definitely just hear about you, and I will probably hit you up. You never know. So just grow your fan base right now, and I will definitely collab with you in the future. <sighs> Which place is a dream of yours to visit? Japan. I definitely want to visit Japan because I absolutely love anime. Dragon Ball Z is my favorite anime, by the way. If you could collab with any indie artist, what it would be? I would collab with any artist of any genre if we could make dope music at the end of the day. That's all I care. About. What happened between Zada rapper and GTC? Uh, Zada rapper and the members of the GTC, we didn't have the same vision. That's as much as I'm gonna say. Zada rapper is still a friend. He's still a great guy. You should guys should go listen to his music. It's hella dope. He's actually dropping a song right now called Adventure Bonga. Go pre-save it. Otherwise, I'll be very mad. Go support Zada rapper. He's my boy. I don't want to get too into it because it's it's we like to keep it between the group. But yeah. Who is your role model? My amma. What would be your dream collab with favorite rappers or singers? My dream collab would definitely be Oliver Tree. No matter what, I want to collab with that dude one day. One day, hopefully. <sighs> ASMR. You've always said you got bullied in school. How do the bullies react to you now? I don't really know. I'm not a guy who really wants to take vengeance on the bullies for how they treated me. I just I'm cool with it, you know. It's it's fine. I don't really know how they react now. I'm cool with everybody. I treat everyone the same with peace, love and positivity, even if they bullied me in the past. Even if you hate me, I love you. I still love. You. If your business drops, would you still continue to produce music? Uh I don't have a or own shares in any business. So I will still continue to produce music, but I don't know about this whole business thing they're talking about. Bro, we want a Lona Bebdo remix in Goa Trap Culture list. You already know that I've sampled Lona. Goa Trap Culture two coming soon. It's just a matter of time. What are your upcoming projects? Oh my god, I have so much music, like so much music. I have song with Za. I have song with J. I have song with Kid Mange. I have song with Skeleton. I have song my song big. I have lot. big song lots i have lots of songs will you be dropping out of school to focus on music uh if i blow up i'm definitely dropping out of school so guys you got to make me blow up asap because i don't want to study sociology anymore i swear to god it's so boring what's your real name next question what's your next question can you tell us how you got into rapping and all of that uh so one day i went in with my lyrics and i showed my mama my lyrics and i started rapping in front of her and she's like Do you need anything for me to help you? I'm like, yeah, I need a mic. I have half the money. Can you give me the other half? And then she's like, yeah, sure, bro. Take the other half. I'm like, oh, thanks. And then I got mic. And then for two years, I was struggling to make my sound sound professional. But then my sound sound finally my sound finally sounded professional. So, you know how it is. Why don't you grow a beard, bro? It's not. <laughs> it's definitely a choice. I'm totally choosing to be this way. So first, let me take a sip of my. I needed that for this question. Yeah, why don't I grow a beard? I can't. I can't grow a beard. I'm a little boy, a little baby I am. I actually shaved before this so I could look cute for you guys, but you guys want me to grow a beard so I don't look cute. When is your next song going to drop? Can you be my friend? Oh, of course I can be your friend. I am your friend. And my next song is going to drop probably next month. I'm not sure. Ask Skeleton because he has a, he and me have a song that's coming. Bye. New much? Yes. When will you drop a new music video? The way I fall in love music video is in production right now, but we don't know when we're going to drop it. We're definitely going to drop it soon. Chai sip. How do you deal with hate? Oh, that's very easy. Just don't. Okay, guys. Next question. Hi, Gum Sham. Gum Sham.
My name is Gamsham Pakleshwali Bagarjak Joshi Jogi Kumalava the second this is what i get i gamsham but hello i'm kidding how did you get the idea to make all black trap trap i just made a beat i sent it to za we made a dope song and that's the that's how all black trap trap happened came to the club and all black with the whole squad got me look like batman go stream that shit What's the weirdest thing a fan has ever done for you? Uh, nothing really weird. I have a really good fan base so far, but I once had a fan ask if they want to marry me, so that was pretty weird. But otherwise, no. What's your advice to teens who want to have a career in music? Just believe in yourself and do not care. And I can't stress this enough. Do not care about what other people will think because the people are not making your music. You're making your music. What is the fact that you always release your songs at 6 p.m.? What's so special about six? Don't even. If I tell you, I would have to kill you, bro. New song dropping at six o'clock, by the way. What's your real name? Next question. If you ever got a genie lamp, what are your three wishes? Uh, first, first wish would be chai. Second wish, ginger chai. Third wish, lemon grass chai. A lemon grass chai be hitting, bro. I ain't even gonna cap. Hitting. How does the fame and love from fan feel? Fans feel feels amazing. I love you guys so much. How did you collab with Kid Mage? Okay, story time. So, how I collab with Kid Mage is I met a girl named Sanya. Sanya introduced my music before I met her to Raiden and Elton. Then I met Raiden and Elton when I went to visit Sanya for a party in North Goa. I met a uh, Raiden there in a party in North Goa. Elton couldn't come to the party. I met Raiden and I became friends with Raiden there. Uh, I was added to the group. I had all their numbers. We started talking. Raiden and Elton really liked my music. They knew about my music be- before I met them. Finally, I'm roaming around with Raiden and Elton because I moved to North Goa and now we are both in the same school. So now I'm roaming around with Aiden and Elton because they are my only two friends in North Goa. Suddenly this boy comes along. This little kid boy, okay, kid mange, okay. That time we was no, there was no kid mange, and I met him and he was a really cool dude and stuff like that. And then one day he just started rapping and I was like, hey bro, this guy actually has talent. So I went home, made a beat for this boy, sent him the beat, and then I freaking called him the next day. And then this boy came over and started recording, and then we made Babzin. Babzin is like a year old or something like that. Right. So, I'm gonna spill my chai. Okay. Cool. Next question. What is your ambition before starting rap? I wanted to become a photographer. Yes. In the video headphones, how much did you pay to rent the coffin? We paid zero rupees to rent the coffin. Cause you know, like how we all have guys. Like, oh, I got a guy for this. I'm gonna call out my guy. I got a, I got a taxi guy. I got a whatever. You know, I got a, a guy. Jay, my friend, had a coffin guy. Yes, a coffin guy. So that's how we got the coffin. Cause Jay just I'm like we need a coffin for the music video. Jay's like, ah, no problem, bro. no problem. Call me. Listen. Next question. What's on your tick list to be the best? Ah, Jay is really good, bro. What do you have views on other Indian artists like Fatal, Kid Shot, etc.? I don't know who Kid Shot is, but I know Fatal is absolutely fire. He got the accent on point. That boy knows what he's doing. Who is the best music videographer slash editor in Goa, according to you? You know, I got to shout out my boy Dolma for this one. Who is Dolma? I work with him. He knows what he's doing. So shout out my boy Arjun. Who is Dolma? How did you get into doing shows, and how do you feel when the crowd sing your lyrics back? I got into doing shows because Skeleton called me for a show one day to perform Gohard, and then I started doing shows because everyone started hearing about me, so that they started calling me up, they started booking me and stuff like that, started making their money, you know. <laughs> But then, uh, it is the most amazing feeling. It is better better than any other high in this world when the crowd sings your lyrics back. Oh. I miss it so much because I've never I haven't performed in a long time because of Corona. Do you have a GF? Okay, I knew this question would come, and yes, I do have a GF. Her name is Rainan D'Souza. There's a picture of Rainan, and we've been dating for a while now, and I think it's time for me to propose. So. <laughs> Obviously, I'm kidding. I would not do anything with Renan. I wouldn't want to do anything with Renan. Do you want to hang out someday? Yes, of course I want to hang out. What is your biggest goal? To be the best. That's it. Mm. Where do you see yourself in ten years? Ten years older. How do you plan to grab the attention of the major Hindi audience with your rap? I don't. I'm aiming international, my boy. Next question. 
me don't know what to say me bored uh first of all boredom is a choice in today's day and age second of all uh that's an oxymoron or a paradox i don't know i just say these words so i could seem smart anyway what is your gumsham gumsham what has been your best performance of your career so far probably my gig where i opened for mc stan who's your favorite fan all my fans are my favorite fans i love all of you guys equally i don't want to give special treatment to nobody <sighs> my fucking chai is over yes <laughs> murchu ah there's no sugar in this disgusting go put sugar what gave you inspiration to start singing i saw that pop music was doing so much better than rap music so then i was like you know what i'm going to use my vocal range and that's how i started singing do your parents support you while making music yes balls day 6 what today is day 6 of dming you balls will continue till until i forget god speed sir good luck what are your views on being a teenager a lot of people uh, my views being a teenager was really hard for me because i was a little fat boy and i was 13 14 and i couldn't get any girls but you just got to hang in there one wait till you're 18 19 that's when that's when you start glowing up but mon- most importantly i wish i knew when i was 13 14 that i main thing that i need to do is work on myself i wish i knew that when i was younger that would have helped me so much now Unfortunately I had to learn that the hard way. Do you watch JoJo's Bizarre Adventure? If no then watch it right now. Of course I watch JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. It's an amazing anime. Which are your favorite fan pages and favorite fan edits? Again, all my fan pages, I love all my fan edits and I especially I love the drawings that you guys do of me. Those are amazing. Next question. Let's end tax fraud once and for all. Want to help? First, we get rid of the kids because they don't pay taxes. I hundred percent agree with this guy. Uh, let's get rid of the kids because they don't pay taxes, and let's end tax fraud because I really don't like tax. Because every time I get my paycheck, I get taxed, and then my money goes away. So that's not very nice. And also, get rid of the kids. We have to get rid of the kids. I, this guy is paying fact. Or shout out whoever this guy is. What's your favorite food? I like I like pizza. I like chai. I like mushrooms i like pasta i like next question what is your real name <sighs> shout out bob tao best in the city shout out my boy greg and you know how it is when are you going to make another music video soon how much money do you get in youtube enough collab no anything to say for the haters i love you guys When I use when you started writing or singing, basically you expose your amazing talent. What was on your mind? I really don't know what happens on my mind when I'm writing. It just writes itself. Like I start writing and then automatically my brain's like, okay, write this, 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 and then I just in five minutes I have a new song. I wrote headphones in fifteen minutes, the whole song. I wrote the whole song in fifteen minutes. What is your age? I'm eighty-six years, eight, fifteen, five years old. When is your merch cumin out? Cumin, C U M I N. Um, it's coming out soon. But if you're talking about cumin, cumin is a spice that's originated from Mediterranean regions. Medi- Mediterranean regions. So, I much is not cumin out anytime soon. <laughs> Have you ever made an entire song from start to finish and it feels like it didn't meet your expectations all the time? Any artist you know definitely has five or six songs which they had to throw away because they just didn't meet their expectations. More than five to six, freaking. 10 15 100 or anything what is one message you would like to give your fans i love you next question what is your nickname yogi what's your name kamsham paklesh wali bagar check yogi yogi kumar the second i'm not saying that again i took so long to memorize my, i mean that is my real name i didn't i knew it from i was born why did you choose music as a career cuz i'm sick at it But well, honestly, what does Sumayoki mean? I don't know. Ask my mirror. How to become successful at something? Just keep doing it again and again and again and again till you're the best. And then you'll be. Successful. Have you ever made out with a fan? What? What are your difficulties in your music career? Uh, probably developing my ears to a professional sound so that my music sounds professional. That would probably be one of the biggest difficulties. It took me about two years. What's your zodiac sign? My zodiac sign is Gemini, but I don't believe in any of that stuff. How to reduce acne, dude? Any advice, bro? If you're taking advice from me, bro, you're just gonna get more acne. I'm not even kidding. Like, uh. how come you have no Indian accent when I rap? 
I just started rapping with the American accent, and then it just it just went with it, you know. It sounds good, and I you definitely don't don't want me rapping with an Indian accent, you know. Like when it comes to who's the best, I'ma tell you that I'ma bless you. Never knew the rest when the nah, that doesn't work out. You know, gotta put on the air. even when I'm singing. You guys don't want me to sing like white tea, bitch get off. I don't need that energy around me. No. Sounds great though, but wouldn't do as well as the actual YT. Hey Yoki, who's your favorite fan? All my fans are my favorite fan. Your GF. Which software do you use for music? FL Studio. Were there any struggles getting into this? The struggles getting into anything, my friend. Your favorite track of yours till now? Rap wise, it's probably All Black Trap Trap. Oh my god, that track is so sick. But you guys have obviously slept on it so much. But uh, singing wise, I don't really know. I have a lot of good songs. Probably an unreleased song. It's called Hard Enough. It goes something like this. Deep down, I feel like a monster. Why won't you help me? Cause it's hard enough for me in my head, in my thoughts, in my words. Yeah, that's all you're gonna get. I'm sorry if I'm going false, but. Yeah, from where you got the name Sumayoki? From my mirror. Is Ego Word an Indian? Yes, he is. Who's better, you or Kid Mains? <laughs> I don't know, bro. But you know who's on top at the end of the day. That's all I'm saying. What's your religion? I don't believe in religion. It's a great concept, but I don't believe in it. What is your dream collab, Oliver Tree? What's your opinion on the political situation in Goa? I'm not gonna comment on that. I don't wanna die. How many girls have you made out with? What? How is that question going? Why? Why would you want to? What was the trigger point that made you decide to get into music? Probably when I started seeing that a lot of people were like, actually seeing that I'm I'm I can rap, and they actually started believing in me. So that was like a small trigger which helped me out get into music. Go follow me on Instagram and you'll get all of the news on the projects. Where are you from? G O A G O A. What's the end goal in your life to die a peaceful death in my sleep? Are you going to have a concert anytime soon or after lockdown? I'm definitely going to ha not have one anytime soon, but off after lockdown, you know, you know, I'm going to turn up. Any other rapper in your family? Sneha, you a rapper? Seriously? She's not even nah. No, no other rapper. I don't know my grandmother. I feel like she's kind of getting into it. Now nah, he's dead. Ah, before my grandfather died, probably used to rap. He was into music, you know. Yeah, well, but yeah, top rapper in the family. You know how it is. You know what it is. When are you about to drop a fire collab with the boys? Ask the boys. It's gonna come soon though. GTC EP or album or EP. I don't know. What was your first rap which got you inspired as a child, as a teenager? My first rap is a rap called Test One, and I'm never gonna release it because. Try to experiment in different genres like reggae, jazz, Latin, chill, or even any dance number. Ah, uh, if you've heard my music, you would know how much I've experimented already. My music is very, very diverse. But sure, if you want me to experiment more, I'll go for it. How you achieved that quality? Every day practice. That's it. How you learned music production? My boy Kunal. And just watching YouTube videos every single day and just focusing on myself. Okay, I think we're about to reach the end now. Who inspired you to be where you are right now, and where do you see yourself in the coming years? Uh, my fans inspired me. I love you guys so much. My mom, my sister, my friends, my close friend circle, all of it, three ex, Egobert, and my inspirations are many. But at the end of the day, I just want to inspire other people, and I want you guys to look up to me as an inspiration. So that's probably one of my dreams. So I hope you guys look up to me as an inspiration soon, and I hope to see more rappers in Goa, especially women rappers. I want women rappers to come up, you know, because I really feel there's a market there which a lot of women rappers are feeling too shy to get into because they feel like society is not going to accept that. I was about to swear, screw society, because society doesn't know what it's doing half the time. Second last question. By Ajay Nayak, suck my ass. Thank you for that, Ajay. Uh, I kindly reject, though. No. And last question is by Kid Mains. He says you want your screw. Yes, 
I need my screw. And he spelled it S G R E W. Screw. He did that on purpose, obviously. I think. But yes, Kidmans, please give me my screw back. Everyone, go tell Kidmans to give my screw back. But anyway, guys, that's me logging off right now. Thank you for all of the questions. I'm really sorry if your question did get didn't get included into the Q and A. It's probably because it was repeated, or I didn't want to answer it. But yeah. That's pretty much it, and I hope you guys enjoy this Q and A. Please make sure to subscribe, like, share, follow in Instagram. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, see you guys later. Stay tuned for more music. Go check out my Spotify link is in the bio. Love you guys. Bye bye.